Hi guys. Well, it keeps trying to turn into a decent day here in the end times in paradise here on Thursday, September 16th, 2021. And I, I need to do a, an article on the, a rant on the, on the latest, <clears throat> on, on the latest bad hair day cropping up in the mainstream media, but I've got sidetracked. So, uh, I just need, to, I just can't, I can't let this article pass without a comment showing up somewhere buried in the uh, mainstream media today. Uh, <clears throat> several versions of this. This is from Insider, whoever they are. Okay. A man who authorities described as one of the world's largest facilitators of child pornography has been sentenced to 27 years in prison. Hmm. Yes. A man flagged by the FBI as the world's largest facilitator of child pornography was sentenced yesterday to 27 years in federal prison with lifetime supervision after his release. Oh, yes. New York-born Eric Marquez, 36, a, a citizen of both the U.S. and Ireland, ran a network of dark web servers that hosted over 200 websites distributing millions of images and videos containing child sex abuse, according to the prosecutor's statement. Uh, Marquez called his entire network Freedom Hosting. Freedom Hosting. Many of the images showed the rape and torture of minors before they hit puberty and even the sadistic abuse of infants and toddlers. Law enforcement had never seen almost two million of these illicit images until they discovered Marquez's dark web servers. Uh, this is U.S. Attorney Jonathan Lensner, quote, Mr. Marquez essentially created a market for others to trade and promote child pornography and was creating the demand and the supply for a very dangerous and harmful trade to children throughout the world. Close quote. Uh, authorities filed federal charges against Marquez in 2013 and he pleaded guilty in February of 2020 to conspiracy to advertise child pornography on the uh, <clears throat> dark web. At the sentencing hearing yesterday, U.S. District Judge Theodore Ch Chang said Marquez's crimes were, quote, truly despicable, and yet, and, and truly despicable in that they were like those of a drug kingpin. Uh, Chang did agree to recommend that Marquez be given credit by the Federal Bureau of Prisons for the eight years he has already served in custody after his 2013 arrest in Ireland. Um, Chang rejected a plea deal in which prosecutors asked for a prison sentence of 15 to 21 years, saying the arrangement was flawed and that he wanted to give Marquez a longer sentence. So even the prosecutors asking for 15 to 21 years and the judge, Judge Chang, uh, I'm assuming, uh, my guess is uh, this is the biggest book that he could throw at this evil motherfucker. 27 years. You, you, you know, guys, I, I, I just don't get it. I really want one of you fucking little limp dick lefty snowflakes to explain to me 
why this motherfucker isn't hanging by his fucking balls. Why aren't we taking this motherfucker out there I I into the public square, hanging this motherfucker by his balls and, and, and fucking stoning him to death? Y y you know, what, what possible reason I I is there uh, to keep this slime bag alive on this planet? Now, give me one fucking reason. I, I, I mean, this is, I, I just don't fucking get this shit uh, about capital punishment. Kill the motherfucker. You know, I mean, this is just a no-brainer. This has nothing to do w whether you're you're a fucking a Republican, a Democrat, uh, a, a fucking mask Nazi, an anti-masker, a, a a a vaccine Nazi, an anti-vaxer. You know, it, I, I read shit like this, and and, and this fucking evil scumbag. I, I mean, he should be a great unifying force to, you know, to bring together all of us fighting bugs in a jar together with a common cause. String the motherfucker up by his balls and, 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 and give him a, a painful, long death. And just leave him swinging by his fucking balls. Just leave him swinging by his balls. Anybody wanting, you know, anybody with half a fucking conscience who wants to come by, hit the motherfucker with a two-by-four, knock his fucking teeth out, whatever. You know? Uh, do you, you know, th this is the one thing, when I hear this shit uh, about these noble savages uh, saving the fucking planet, th this, this is one thing, you know, where, where these noble savages had it, had it fucking right. Do you think if this motherfucking scumbag... Show you, you, you know uh, was in some uh, was in some Indian village, some Native American village or whatever. Do, do you think uh, do, do you think the uh, the guys around the Indians think well, okay, he's uh, you know, come on guys, come on guys, give him a break, give the man a break. He feels remorse. He feels remorse. Can you see a, 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 a bunch of fucking uh, Apache Indians sitting around and, and discussing this shit for one fucking minute? They would grab this motherfucker by his fucking balls. They would take him out. They would nail him to the top of a fucking saguaro cactus. Let the fucking vultures uh, peck him to death. You know? When did we turn into such a bunch of fucking pussies? Kill this motherfucker! You know, the, the last time I was interviewing uh, Derek Jensen, since I'm sure Derek will never speak to me again, you know, we got into this capital punishment shit. You, you know, Derek Jensen uh, agreeing with me. We need more capital punishment on this fucking planet. Not less. Jesus, these little fucking uh, limp dick lefty snowflakes. You know? We, we need to have fucking bodies, uh, you know, up and down, uh, just off, hanging off of every fucking light pole. Anyway, now that I got that off my chest, we're going to come back... Uh, and talk about is there a ray of hope showing up in the fear-mongering media, which is really what I came to rant about today. Coming right up. Bye, guys.